Hey guys, it is Sunday, November 13th, and I'm sitting outside of the mall. I'm about to go in um, just to do a few errands, get my nails done, and Alex is home with Camden. He's watching him for the day, so I'm going to just go have a mommy day and get got my hair done a couple days ago, and I don't know if you can really tell, but it is definitely cut. Um, it used to be like literally down to here, so she cut off about three or four four inches, probably three inches. Um, and then we dyed it dark. So, uh, I originally was going to go in and get that balayage, which I had put on my, um, Snapchat and asked if you guys thought that I should do a balayage. And a lot of you said, yes, some of you said to keep it dark. I decided to keep it dark for a few reasons. One, it's winter and I always like having dark hair in the winter. Um, two, I didn't want to spend that much money on it. And three, what was the third reason? I was just a little nervous because the last time that I tried to get like an ombre done to my hair, it was, it wasn't good. It just, it didn't look good. It was streaky. It was choppy looking. It just didn't blend well. And it wasn't, I had to go back to the salon like three times to get my hair eventually just, I think dyed dark again because it just didn't come out right. So I was just a little nervous. I didn't know if I wanted to go through all this, you know, again, even though I'm going to a different salon now and seeing a different stylist. Um, I just, I don't know. I wasn't really in the mood to do the whole thing if it didn't turn out right. So I went dark, but I originally was just going to go with like a really deep, dark chocolate brown, kind of like my natural hair color, but a little bit darker, which is what I usually do. Um, but I talked to my stylist and she suggested trying out like a little bit of violet because I showed her this one picture, um, on Pinterest of this girl that had like really dark, um, hair. And I said that I loved it. And she was like, well, that's not really chocolate. She goes, that's more of like just a deeper, deeper dark brown, um, with like a hint of violet in it. And I said that I didn't want red. And she said, violet, violet does not bring out the red. Violet is like a cool tone color. Um, so she said that we should try it. And I was like, sure, why not? So she, I don't know if you can tell, especially in this lighting, but she put a little bit of violet in it and I love it. I think it looks so cute and so different and so pretty. And she said next time we could even put a little bit more violet in it. So, um, yeah, so I got my hair dark, uh, dyed darker. It's really dark. It's like almost black. Um, but that's fine. I mean, my hair fades so fast. Um, and then we took some off and she did some layers, which you can't really see cause I kind of have like a little clip in it. I'm about to get my nails done. They are horrendous. They've grown out so much. It's been like a few weeks. Um, yeah. They're looking really bad. And then on this one, I actually lost a nail right here. <laughs> like, look how bad that looks. So I was like, okay, I got to get them done. I can't, like, walk around without a nail. So I'm not sure what color I'm going to get. Um, we'll see. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I should probably go in the mall and get some of this stuff done instead of just sitting here. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I did my makeup because I'm going to film, I think I'm going to film a couple videos when I get home. At least I'm going to try to. Um, so I did my makeup, like full face. Um, but I haven't put on any eyelashes because I just didn't have time to fool with the eyelashes. So one of my subscribers is a consultant for Rodin and Fields. I'm sure you guys have heard of Rodin and Fields. It's a skincare line. Um, and she's a consultant. And there's this new product called Lash Boost that came out recently. And it's... I guess it's similar to, you know, a lash serum like Latisse, but, you know, it's not harmful. It's all natural. It's not going to change your eye color or anything like that, but it's a lash growing serum. You put it on once a night after you wash and dry your face. Um, and I've only used it a couple times though, so I haven't, I haven't seen the difference yet. And it's supposed to just grow your lashes, make them longer and thicker and fuller. And I, she got in touch with me because she knows that I'm all about lashes. I wear fake lashes all the time because my lashes are just so puny and thin and short. So she um, contacted me and said that she wanted to go ahead and send me this lash boost and have me try it out and see if I liked it and share it with you guys if I did like it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm really hoping for good results. I'm really, really excited about it. I've never used a lash serum before. I've always wanted to use Latisse, but I've always been so nervous about it because I do I have heard that it can change your eye color and I have green eyes and I don't want them changing. I like them the way they are. So I was always really nervous and I think you have to get a prescription for it too from the doctor and I just never did it because I was just too nervous to try it. 
But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I hope it works. Um, you guys know that I've always wanted lash extensions. Um, so I'll show you more of it when I get home. Like I'll show you what it looks like and all that. Um, and just kind of like introduce you to the product and share some details with you and whatever. And I'll leave all her contact info below if you guys are interested in purchasing um, Lash Boost because you do have to do it through a Rodin and Fields consultant. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go into the mall, get my nails done, get a few errands done, return a few things, go into Bath & Body Works because they're having a huge sale right now and I need to stock up on a couple candles. this California chicken salad. It's so good. And then they give you this like really good vinaigrette with it. It's amazing. I am back from the mall. Well, I'm back in my car. I'm about to um, drive over to Bye Bye Baby. I have to get, because I have to get a few things for Camden. But I didn't vlog much in the mall because I was holding a bunch of bags and I tried to film and I almost dropped my camera which would not have been good, so I just put it away. Um, but I did buy a few candles from Bath & Body Works. They were having a sale. The candles are usually around $22, and they were only $12.50. So it's a great time to get candles when they have that sale, or if they have like the two-for-one sale, um, that's also good too, because their candles are expensive. I mean, $22 for a candle. So I had to stock up on a couple winter scents. They have some new scents out, which I'm so excited about. They smell so good. So I really, really hope that they smell good while they're burning as well. Um, but let me show you the candles that I got. First candle that I got, I've never bought this one before, but it is the winter candle. Um, it smells really, really good. And I hear this one is amazing when it burns. So that's why I picked this one up. Um... The notes are white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. So, it smells good. So then the next one I got is called Vanilla Snowflake. This smelled really good, and I've never heard of this one before. It's creamy vanilla iced fur, wintry mint, and coconut flakes. So, I'm excited about this one. It smells really good. Very vanilla smelling. And then, I'm super excited about this last one hot cocoa and cream. Oh my God. This smells literally like a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. It smells so amazing. So I'm really excited about this hot cocoa and cream one. Um, it says the notes are decadent milk, chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. So yeah, really excited about those candles. And I also had a $10 off of thir spending 30. So that's why I got three candles because I needed to spend at least $30 to get the $10 off coupon. And then they were $12.50 on top of it. So it was a really good deal. Um, so I also went into Old Navy because I had to exchange something. And I also picked up a really cute cardigan that I'll show you guys later. Um, it's kind of like a blush color and it's really long. It goes like past the knee, I think. Um, it's really, really cute. So I picked that up and I got some lunch, which you guys saw. I got this California chicken salad at this place called, I think it's called like J Chow salads, but it's like so good. It looked like it wasn't much, like it was just like lettuce and chicken, which it kind of is, but it's really, really good. The chicken is kind of sweet. I don't know how they cook it, but it's like amazing. And I haven't had it in a while and it's pretty healthy because it's chicken and lettuce. So, so I just got a salad. I was going to go to Starbucks. They have, um, some deal going on, I guess, between two and four. It's like buy one holiday drink, get a second free. And it, the line was like insane, like wrapped around the whole Starbucks. So I was like, I'm not waiting. But I did get my nails done. I, w I was going to show you guys. So I ended up getting my fake nails taken off, which I'm kind of bummed about because I was going to get a fill um, on my acrylic nails. But the girl told me that they weren't put on correctly the last time I got them done, which someone else did them. She said they needed to be taken off and redone, and she recommended just, like, getting gel in between and giving my nails, like, kind of, like, a break from the acrylics for a little bit. And I'm going to get my nails done um, 
in like a week anyway, right before Thanksgiving. So I figured whatever, I'll just, I'll get them put back on then. So I got my nails taken off and like, look how little my nails are. They're so tiny and like my nail beds are so small. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so I just got, um, gel and the gel is called, I think it's called funny bunny or something. It's OPI. I think it's called funny bunny. But anyway, it's like really pretty. I love it. It's like a really like light beige white. It's got like a little bit of sparkle in it. It's like sheer, but she did a few coats. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty looking and I wanted something natural. So I think that's, that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go to Bye Bye Baby and pick up a few things there. And then I'll probably head home because I have some filming to do. And I think Cam is sick. It makes me so sad. He has like a really bad cough. Like it's like a cough coming from his chest. Like I think he has phlegm in his throat. He was coughing all night last night. So I'm going to try to get him into the doctor's tomorrow morning and just make sure he's okay. Um, I might pick up some cough medicine at Bye Bye Baby. I don't know if I should just wait for the doctors. Um, what else? I feel like there was something else. Oh, I did want to say that I put up on Snapchat um, asking you guys if you guys wanted to see me do Vlogmas, which is, if you don't know what Vlogmas is, it's doing a vlog every single day during the month of December. Now, if I do it, which I think I'm going to do it because a lot of you guys um, snapped me back saying that you would watch and that you want me to do it. So I think I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it every single day. I'm going to do it like Monday through Friday, but I'm not going to do it on the weekends because I just, I think it's... Um, better for me to do it Monday through Friday. So it'll, so I'm going to do Vlogmas December, month of December, Monday through Friday, there will be a vlog every day. Now my plan is because I still have my shitty laptop. Um, I haven't gotten the Mac yet. I think I'm going to wait till black Friday. So I might wait till then try to get a MacBook then, which is cutting it close because I need a new computer if I'm going to do Vlogmas. So my plan is to get a new laptop before December so I can do Vlogmas for you guys. I think it'll be fun. Okay, just got out of Bye Bye Baby. Um, and I want to show you what I got. I was looking for a breathable crib bumper for Camden because I was thinking like maybe he's scared when he's in his crib because it just doesn't like look appealing. Like he's in there and there are these like bars and he can look out and see the room with like no one in it. So I was thinking maybe like one of the breathable crib bumpers because bumpers, um, regular ones aren't safe, but the breathable ones are fine. So the girl in there showed me one that they had like, um, one with little animals on it. Um, and she said maybe that'll kind of distract him cause he can look at the pictures. So if you can see, it's got like little, um, zebras and monkeys and giraffes and elephants and stuff like that. Um, and then they had just, you know, white ones, gray ones, blue ones, just basic colors. Um, but she said, since this has pictures, maybe it'll distract him and he'll just kind of look at the pictures and fall asleep. I don't know. You guys, I'm trying everything right now. <laughs> so I got that. I'm going to try it out and see, um, if that helps him. And also I wanted to keep him from kind of, he's been like, I'm nervous. He's going to bang his head cause he sits up now. And then sometimes he'll flip backwards and I'm nervous that he's going to like bang his head on the rails. Um, and since this is breathable, it's thin and it's like netted. So it's really not going to help too much, but it may help a little bit. And also it, also it helps, I think like the purpose of it is so that they don't get their hands and feet stuck through the rails. So that's also a plus. So we'll try it out and see how he likes it. Um, these people next to me think that I'm so weird, whatever. Um, and then I also got these, um, spoons. You know what? I'm going to pull out and let someone else park here. So just hold on. Oh my God. My hair is like so so staticky right now. I can't stand it. Does anyone else's hair get so like staticky, like flyaways during the colder months? Oh, if you guys have any idea, like what I should do, I I've heard like you can use bounce, like the dryer sheets and like wet them and put them on your hair, which I used to do, but it kind of makes my hair like sticky anyway. Um, all right. I went ahead and bought him these like munchkin spoons because I don't think he likes the spoons I've been using. I mean, he likes them, but I want to try something like I've been using like these teething spoons. So they're kind of like uh, flimsy and I think something more like sturdy and hard would be better to feed him. I don't know. I'm trying everything. Um, 
with the food too because he doesn't really like food. Although I've noticed that when I heat up the food and it's really warm, he likes it a lot more than if it's room temperature or cold. So I've been heating it up and that helps a little bit. Um, I got him this Zarbies Naturals Baby Cough Syrup and Mucus because he does have a cough and the guy said this was uh, pretty popular. Um, I picked up some draft stain remover because I'm out. And then I picked up some food for him. So um, I picked up prunes and oatmeal, um, which he's had prunes before. And, uh, well, he's had prune juice because he got constipated from all the bananas I think I was giving him. So prunes and oatmeal, um, pears and raspberries. He's had pears before, so I know he's um, fine to have pears again. And this has a raspberries in it. So, And he's had raspberries too, actually. Alex has given him like whole raspberries. I like freak out. I'm like, he doesn't have teeth. Like, don't, like, you have to mush it up. Like, don't just give him whole things like that. Apples and blueberries. He likes apples. So, we'll see if he likes blueberries, even though Alex is probably giving him blueberries too. And then peas. He hasn't had peas yet. So, we'll see. Um, and again, I'm going to start making his food, but since he's not a huge, like, food lover yet, I don't want to, like, prepare all this food for him and then him not eat it and only take a few bites. So I'm starting him on like the, um, like bottled food just to get him used to food. And then once he actually starts eating, I'm going to just like go buy all organic fruits and veggies and stuff like that and actually make them in my baby food maker and then do it that way. But for now, I'm just going to buy them in the bottle since I end up having to throw a lot of it out anyway. Um, and then I went ahead and bought these like, um, Plum Organics Super Puffs. It's organic grain cereal snack, and it's the I got the apple with spinach um, because Alex has been giving him Cheerios, like regular Cheerios, and it freaks me out because like even though they they get like soggy in his mouth, I feel like it might take a while, and I don't want him choking on this. And Alex won't listen. He's like, no, no, he's fine. He loves them. So these are actually meant for babies, and they dissolve like fairly quickly. So. Uh, I'm going to try those out so Alex can stop giving him Cheerios. God. So that is it. That's everything I got from Bye Bye Baby. The guy was so nice. He gave me, I had two coupons. I had two coupons. I had a $5 off coupon and a 20% off coupon. Um, and then he gave me another 20% off coupon. So I got like, I got all this for not that much money because I thought it was going to be like very expensive and it wasn't. So I'm pretty happy with all that. All right. Now it is time to get my little butt home and see my baby. He doesn't feel well, so I want to get home and snuggle with him and give him some of this cough medicine so he feels a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys at home. Okay, so I did some grocery shopping, and I'm going to show you here what I got. I got two gallons of fat-free milk for Alex and some non-fat yogurt plain for Alex. I got some orange juice, some almond milk for me. I put this in my coffee and my um, protein shakes. And then I got some more of these Think Thin Protein and Fiber Hot Oatmeal Berry Crumble. This is so good. So I got a couple of those. Um, I'm gonna try out these Red's Organic Chicken Cilantro Lime and Burrito, um, or burritos for lunch. I don't know if they're going to be any good, but we'll see. And then I got these. This is the Applegate Naturals Chicken and Apple Breakfast Sausage Patties. These are so good. Like, I make this with some eggs in the morning for breakfast, and it's so, so good, and I think it's pretty healthy for you. I got some spaghetti, some um, chicken deli meat for Alex for his lunch, some brown rice. And then over here, I got some berries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I got some green beans for dinner, two bags of lettuce for our grilled chicken salad that I make on Monday night. And then I got some bananas, potatoes for dinner. I got a couple avocados. I got some broccoli. And I got a green bell pepper. And I got a, what is this, a cucumber. And then I got some raw chicken to make dinner with. I got some Toll House chocolate chip lover cookie dough. This is so good. And I actually got this for free because I had a coupon. But these are amazing cookies. 
And then I got Vicky's granola. I put this in my Greek yogurt with some berries and honey. It's really, really good. And then I got two things of cereal. I'm going to try out this Special K Protein Cinnamon Brown Sugar Crunch. I don't know if it's good or not, but I'll let you know. kind of looked good, so I wanted to try it. I think it's new. And then I just got these. These are like a knockoff of um, multigrain Cheerios. They were like a bit cheaper, and I think they taste the same. So just got those. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the Lash Boost. So it's so it comes in like a little, um, what is this? Like a little cylinder thing like this. And you pop off the top. It's really cute packaging. And then out comes the little lash serum. So it looks like this. It says Rodan and Fields Enhancements Lash Boost. And then it has like this little um, brush that comes out with these little bristles, if you can see right there. And you just kind of apply it to your eyelid in a thin line. So it says, what if you got the lashes you long for? Get lush, longer looking lashes that are 100% natural, 100% yours. It says new enhancements lash boost improves your lash ability with keratin and biotin. In weeks, you'll be wondering if you need mascara at all. Life changing skincare. That would be awesome if I didn't have to wear mascara. Yeah, so it's just like a thin, um, clear gel, and you apply it um, to your eyelash, or you apply it to your lash line. So it says step one is wash your face. Eyes should be clean and dry. And then step two, remember more is not better. Dip the brush in the product only once per eye, wiping off any excess. Step three, apply a thin line along the upper lash line. Gently wipe off any excess product from your eyelids or lashes. And then step four is just wait approximately 90 seconds for product to dry before you apply other products or hop in bed. Don't wash your face or eyes after applying. So very, very simple, easy um, steps. And I've applied this the past couple nights just to make sure that I don't have any like allergic reaction or anything to it. And I don't. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm really hoping it works and it makes my lashes longer and thicker because they need some help. So I will definitely be keeping you guys updated and um, let you know how this whole process, go process is going with the new Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. Yeah, I've heard amazing things about this, like the reviews. Oops. The reviews are great, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for long, luscious lashes.